Hi, everybody. You know, uh, every once in a while, I'm inter interested in another person or I'm interviewing them or they tell me a little bit about their story. And I say to them, wow, there's a book in you. And they all laugh and they go, oh, no, it's not that big a deal. And I said, no, really, really. I said, I think it'd just be so interesting to kind of have you write a book uh, about yourself. And they almost always say, well, I could never write a New York Times bestseller and all that. That's not the purpose of, of the book. What what I learned from Nito Cobain, the president of High Point University, is you write the book to one person, the one person you want to influence, the one person you want to have hire you, the one person who needs to hear this message. And then what happens is a whole lot of people become that one person. And so uh, in the books that I've written, I have always kind of dedicated to a person, and then I write the book to that person. I, I want them to either work with me, I want them to hire me, I want them to uh, come up with new ideas with me, any of that sort of stuff. But it helps me really focus on things. And so maybe don't think so much about, can I be a bestseller? Can I be number one on Amazon in the psychology section uh, on this date? Uh, you can hire people to make that happen. That doesn't mean that your book is any good. What it means, uh, on the other hand, however, is if you're writing to this one person, then your book has a lot of meaning. It has a lot of, it has content. It also has context. It has contrast. And you get a chance to put your full self into this book. And whether you sell one copy or a million copies is not completely important because you have established your work there. So when I say to somebody, I don't say it to everybody, but when I say to somebody, there's a book in you, I really do mean there's a book in you. And uh, I hope someday <laughs> somebody will take me seriously on that. Maybe, maybe it'll be you. Think about it. Is there a book in you? I'm Kevin O'Connor. See you next time.